Ellonima, are you enjoying the conference? Yeah, Carlo, your talk was great. What was it about again? I talk about the loop quantum gravity. Cool. How many people are working on that now? There are many people working on it, but mostly just me. Wow. Hit me again with the main idea, Carlo. We have a quantized gravity in four dimensions using the canonical formalism. First we use a kind of Fourier transform to convert to loop variables. Then we find that the Weyler de Witt equation can be solved using states spanned by Knott's and Young-Baxter equation. Why does it have to be four dimensions? In four dimensions the Lorentz group splits into two spinors. When it is this? What are you working on? Did you not hear my talk? Yes, but you did not get to the main part. We have solved Super Yang Mills scattering theory in four dimensions. Sublissimo. How did you do it? We knew that massless theories have conformal invariants in space-time but then we discovered that we can transform to a dual momentum space using a Fourier transform where amplitudes become loop variables. This space is a dual conformal invariance. The closure of these symmetries is an infinite dimensional Yangian symmetry which uses the Yang Baxter equation. The Yang Baxter equation? Yes. So you must also have a knots. The Yang Baxter equation is about a knots. We have no knots because we do not deform it. We just have permutations. But you must deform it. The Yang Baxter equation must always be deformed. No, I do not need to deform it. We do you work in four dimensions? In four dimensions we can split no vectors into two spinners. This is crucial for the theory. It is the same auditing. Where do you work now? I am working at Marseille's in the sud of France. What do they have there? They have hot bikes. Do the girls wear hot bikinis? They do not wear anything. It sounds like a good place for an Italian. Yes it is. What do you have in Princeton? In Princeton we have blackboards. So what can you do with your Yangian symmetry? We found that we can construct the invariants of the Yangian using a new type of diagram and solve the on-shell scattering amplitudes. In the past this was done using Feynman diagrams but the answer was pages and pages of equations. We simplify them all to just two terms. Very good. How do you construct the diagrams? We start with the three-point amplitude which is very simple. Then we glue them together to form bigger networks for scattering amplitudes with more particles. It all works out using the beautiful mathematics of twisters. Did you get any further with your not states? Yes. We discovered that the real states are given by spin networks. These are representations of a special unitary group. The simplest network is a trivalent intertwiner and these can be glued to jeter to make bigger networks. Really? Where did spin networks come from? They were invented by Roger Penrose who was trying to find the scattering amplitudes for MASSLSS particles from their spin. He gave up. Ah, yes. I know what Penrose did next. From his spin networks he discovered that he needed to look at the problem in twister space. One of his students called Andrew Hodges developed spin networks further using these twisters. These are the diagrams we use in our scattering theory. It is the same bloody thing. So we do you leaky Princeton? We get big prices there. How much? I got three million dollars. What will you do with it? I don't know. How about a copy on PowerPoint? I think everyone likes my handwritten slides with twirly letters and squiggles. Really? Yes, sure. How about a watch at ten? Time is emergent. Yes, time is not real. Leaky philosophy. What kind of philosopher are you? I am a radical conservative but you are a conservative radical. It is the same blow auditing. How many diagrams so you need for a hacking point scattering amplitude? There are really n factorial because there is one for each permutation. What about you? We also have n factorial spin network states for made by joining the legs after permutations. So it is the same bloody thing. It is always the same blow auditing. Everything was already invented by the Greeks. What problems do you need to solve? We don't know how to recover locality and causality. No problem. If you can add supersymmetry and switch to twist networks I can show you how to recover locality and causality. What will you do next? We need to do the same thing for scattering and string theory so that we can include gravity. We already have a gravity. 
per apps you just need to de for me reangen and use knots. I do not want to use knots. I want to use strings. It is the same blow editing. What do you think of bloggers? Once I am finished dealing with the brown muck, I will wash my hands. Okay, see you later. Choa.